Alright, so the adventure continues. And to put it lightly, one thing that I can tell you guys is nothing ever turns out to the way you think it will. And I will not prove that in this episode, but in future episodes, things get crazy. Now, the la in the last video, I was in Catskill, New York, and I was about to put up my mast. So let's move forward and get on with this adventure. And I'll tell you, it's not easy, guys. I mean, I, I, I can't explain it now. You will see what happens. But for now, let's move on. I'm in Catskill, New York. And in the last episode, I went through the misty waters into Catskill Creek and anchored my boat, moored up at the dock at Riverview Marina and prepared to put up my mast and make Evie a sailboat again. So without further ado, let's get into it. Good morning, guys. So today is a very special day. And the reason is it's because Evie becomes a sailboat again today. So we're gonna put her mast back up with this crane here. And it shouldn't take that long. Uh, I managed to get a bunch of things done. I installed new mast boots, did some maintenance, checked everything, and everything looks good. I also installed uh, an LED deck light. That one right there. And that's gonna light up the whole deck at night when I'm sailing or whenever I need it. All right, so I'm in Catskill, New York. Catskill is this, this is Riverview Marina. A guy named Mike runs it, he's really awesome. The reason I'm here is because I really liked Mike. He was stern and kind and seemed like a good guy. So I went with him. There was another guy named Sean down the, down the river here a little bit. No, this isn't the Hudson, this is like Catskill Creek. And he seemed like a good dude too, but uh, Mike got to me first. So <clears throat> I stayed here last night and today, plus the mast, I'm looking at around, plus I bought some rigging tape and uh, some mast boots. I'm looking at about 370 American to, to stay here. So what do I have left to do? So I gotta be prepared here because I gotta un untangle, unratcheted the mast, it's now loose. I just have to unwrap some lines and make sure everything's clear. Take some things off the deck. Now look at the deck. Look how dirty this deck is. And that's just been from traveling the canals. Often you'll have dripping and, you know, I've been walking up and down these decks and attracting all sorts of mud. So I'm gonna use the power washer today to get them nice and clean. I found a really cool product called uh, uh, all off and it's like miracle deck cleaner it takes off bird poos that stain the gel coat it works it's it's like a miracle total amazing product highly recommended if you're cleaning your boat or dinghy so that's what we're going to do today uh it's about 6 45 right now the guys are going to be here at 8 so i have a little bit of time i still need to put the wind instruments on the top of the mast and the radio antenna Let's take a look at the top of the mast. It's something you rarely get to see because it's always 53 feet above, right? Well, that's it there. This is your anchor light, your wind vane. This is the Raymarine uh, wind uh, device. And this thing here, it looks like a paintbrush kind of. This is a, a lightning striker. I think a fish just jumped right there. So... This just absorbs, it, it makes your the ions neutral on the boat and the charge neutral so that you don't get hit by lightning. Highly recommended. This boat already had this on here when I got her, so it's just great to have. It's a, it's, it's, it's a mental thing, you know? You're always worried about lightning because if a lightning hit, hit this boat, everything would be fried, right? Everything. Now I do have insurance for that. Maybe it would be a good thing. Right, because I'd probably get new <laughs> instruments, but you don't want to get hit by lightning, it could do anything. There is a, a cable that goes down the center of the mast and is connected to the 
it's keel stepped right this 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 boat so it goes right to a cable which is connected to the prop shaft and engine so it is grounded out pretty good <clears throat> so that's good all right guys let's uh let's get this mass back up I can't, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna need to cut that zip tie. One second here. All right, guys, the mass is coming through the hole. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Good, good. Coming down. Good, good, good. Copy that. Almost there. Coming down, copy that. Okay, copy. I need another six, seven inches. Uh, uh, just down, but uh, two inches to the starboard. You could tell Mike and Will have done this many times. It's a really hard thing to do to make a 53 foot object move a few inches forward or backwards or down. So these guys are real pros. And I was very happy that I chose this marina to put my mask on. so the mass is up so unfortunately <laughs> they have to send me up the mast in a chair via the main halyard to untie the rope which is right there so will and uh, Mike are gonna help me uh, crank me up there <laughs> and get this rope untied so this is gonna be interesting I'll film it for you guys and this will be Quite interesting. Maybe I'll fall to my death. Who knows? Stay tuned. Okay. Yeah, copy that. Alright, just 
just a little bit further to go and we're good. I just gotta put these lines on the other side of the mast. All right, that's it. Everything's the way it should be. I'm heading down now. Clear. Oh, one sec. All right, that's it, we're done. <laughs> Thanks, Mike and Will, appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. So there I was, masked up and ready to move forward and south to warmer waters. I left the next day heading down the Hudson River and towards New York City. And that's when things got crazy. All right, we're in a situation. The anchor's wrapped around the keel and the boat is sideways and we're dragging. Yeah, we're, we're moving. And we're moving towards the shore. Tune into this channel next week as we continue to take this boat all the way from Toronto down to the Bahamas. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Captain Michael, 